Welcome to Prayer with Peter Abridged. Today, we pray our final decade of the Most Holy Rosary. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary as Queen of Heaven. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Fruit of the mystery is trust in Mary's intercession and perseverance. As we conclude this with this final mystery of the rosary, I want to highlight how, how beautiful all of it is. You know, there's, God is three things. He's, he's infinitely good, infinitely true, and infinitely beautiful. And we've talked a lot about God's infinite goodness and infinite truth. Don't always talk about God's infinite beauty. And I just want you to put yourself in this scene for a minute. Um, Mary is assumed into heaven. The clouds part. Angels descend down. They pick her up, they take her by the arms and put a throne under her and lift her up. And she enters through the gates of heaven. And there is a sound, a, a glorious noise, greater and louder than anything you've ever heard in your life, but not to the point where it's gonna like, where it hurts. It's just that loud and beautiful because all of the hosts of heaven, all of the angels ever to exist, all of the souls who reside with our Lord, celebrate as their queen comes home. What are we supposed to take away from this as we finish with this with this mystery? It may be like it, it's cool and it's it's really beautiful, but how does it enhance our lives? Well, we're called to imitate Christ, right? So what did Christ do here? He honored Mary in how he welcomed him or her into his home, heaven. He honored her, gave her the place of honor, and coronated her as 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 the queen. So fun fact: in the ancient Jewish rite, the um, the queen was not the spouse of the king; it was the king's mother, and that's why heaven is arranged this way as well. And so if that's the case, we can treat our own families, our own households the same way as well. If you make Mary the queen of your family, she'll start to heal all sorts of wounds that you may be suffering from. And the family, all families, are gravely wounded. Um, Satan's favorite battleground is the family because he hates it so much. Um, hell being eternal loneliness, you know, Satan sits there wishing he had a family and, but at the same time detesting it because he doesn't understand love. He doesn't understand God's mercy. He, he cannot comprehend it. And so he cannot live in a family and he wants to destroy ours too, to bring us down. And because of that, it's that much more important that we invite Mary, the one who Satan is the most terrified of, to be the matriarch of our families. When you invite Mary to be the queen of your family and to let her lead your family to Jesus, she'll do it. So many ways that she has appeared to people and invited people to take her on as, as our mother. You know, different devotions, Our Lady of Fatima, Mary Undoer of Knots, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, Mary Hope of Christians. She has all these different titles in which she invites us to take her in to be our guide and our mother. So do that with your family too. Um, if you don't already, you know, my challenge last week was to pray the rosary with somebody. My challenge this week is to get as many of your family members as you can together to pray a rosary together if you don't already. Um, if you do, do it another day during the week as well. That was, I think, the greatest blessing to my family during our quarantine last year was we got to pray the rosary together every day. 
and because of that we kind of started doing it more often too but the fact that we were doing it together too just brought us closer and there was like there was no fighting in our house even though like we were all kind of stuck in together for the first time in like four years um there's six of us i don't know if i've talked much about my family but it can be a crowded house but you know with mary in charge of it like she's the queen of peace she's the mother of the prince of peace you know she can solve all of our problems simply by bringing it to the foot of the cross and asking Jesus to take care of it. You know, she is the ultimate surrender to Christ. So invite her as we pass through each prayer here. I want you to think of members in your family who need prayers and offer this for them. And I'll offer for all of yours as well. Um, and please do the same for me. Let's, let's pray for each other's families today. Again, the fruits of this mystery are trust in Mary's intercession and perseverance. We can trust that Mary won't give up on us, so we shouldn't give up on her either. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I don't care if you're not watching this when we put this video out. I'm praying for anybody who should who should be praying along with this at any time. Please, I... I want to entrust your family into the arms of the Blessed Mother, and I want you to do the same. She alone can help us win this battle. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, heal our families. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Bring us all to your Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Thank you, everyone. Join us next week for our final chapter, the Hail Holy Queen. God bless.